Hello guys, Hawaii Zoli. I'm going to show you how we caught this fish, manini. We made an Asian manini salad. We're going to show you how we use this chamui product, which is locally made in Hawaii. I made a chamui vinaigrette to finish this manini Asian salad. Stay tuned, guys. <music> Hello guys, my name is Kale. Welcome to the channel Hawaii's Only. Today we have a returning friend. His name is Chris and he brought along his wife. A lot of you guys don't know this because we didn't mention it, but Chris and his wife Lauren are the owners of a company called Chamui. It's a plum lihimoi style type sauce. It's really unique, it's fresh, it's delicious, and we're gonna feature it on today's catch and cook video. We release videos every single Saturday. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'll check you guys out in the water. Good job, babe. Our goal today is to try to get Lauren on her very first fish. You guys seen a handful of episodes ago, Chris, we took him out for his very first time and he was like a pro. He shot, I don't know, two or three fish in that dive it was his very first time spear fishing and so now he's brought along his wife lauren and we're gonna our whole goal is to get her on some fish today so we're gonna spend our day trying to get her on some fish and as you guys know anyone who's dived or spear fished before it is really really challenging that was a good shot that was, really that was a good shot we'll try again that was a really good shot After a few practice shots, Lauren lines up a nice little surgeon fish and gets her first speared fish ever. Saving the meat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm gonna show you guys the ultimate way to make fried fish. This is one of the most underrated fish in the whole ocean. One of my personal favorites. We're gonna double fry. I highly, highly do not recommend this if you're like me and have high cholesterol and blood pressure. But damn, it's so delicious. Check it out. See this, that's the color we're looking for. Actually, I like them a little bit, little bit darker. So I just gotta catch this out of sight. Guys, apologize for the mess. 
It's, we're under construction. And then one day, this thing just showed up right in the middle of our walkway. All of the workers never like touch that. So I get one half complete backyard over here. But if anybody like move this rock for me, yeah, nobody like touch the pohaku. So I think I think anyone howly for come, they don't know, ah, eh? tell them move the pohaku for me, ah. Eh? But uh, yep. So that's how we frying fish, just like this next to the pohaku. Guys, it's so good. The crunch. Oh, Mr. Pohaku, you like some? I'll give him some oil there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I gotta stop eating this. I gotta show you how to do this. We're gonna take off all this meat. Okay, and put it in the plate. We're only gonna be left with the skeleton and the bones. With the meat, we're gonna make our salad. Our bone is gonna be our garnish that we use kind of like croutons. It's gonna be crispy and crunchy. And that's why we need to double fry in there. Okay, so it's a double fried manini, Asian chicken salad. Without the chicken, replace with fish. Without the Asian dressing, replace with chamui vinaigrette, which I'm gonna show you guys how to chef up. Okay guys, we took off the meat, see them? Took off the meat, we removed the bone, we're left with this skeleton, and you wanna leave a little bit of that skin and a little bit of that meat, and then we're gonna double fry this guy, and it's gonna turn- Ooh, through. can I eat that head? First of all, oh, excuse me. double frying. Oh. Second of all, we're filming. Oh, but uh, we're gonna eat this. Yeah, we're gonna. Hold, yeah. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Right now. Hold on, I gotta cook it. Okay. And we're filming. Okay, sorry. Woo, back up, back up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're gonna double fry this, and all these pieces that we leave on, it's gonna get crunchy. Can I eat we're the tail? Go we're gonna eat it soon, ma. Hold on. Okay. I just have to get this tape. But look at the tail right there. It's ready. Oh, thank you. So we're gonna take all this. It's gonna get super crunchy and crispy. And we're gonna use this to garnish for our salad. And instead of putting croutons, you know, cause carbs, meh, bad for you. We're gonna replace it with double fry crunchy fish bone. Ha! <laughs> Go. The bones are edible when you double fry. It's like eating a crispy potato chip. Today's YouTube episode is sponsored by Chamui. What is Chamui? Great question. I don't know. It's like a Chinese Hawaiian plum sauce. Here in Hawaii, we call this lihimui. But I talked to the owners of this who created this and they said they actually take the plum itself and then they do some special techniques and special things to get it in this plum sauce form. So it's not dried, it's wet, and it's like, it's delicious. So it's, it, it, it tastes like lihimoy. Most people put this on fruits or in drinks. They put it with a pineapple or orange, apples, gummy bears, on candies. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna take chamui and we're gonna make a vinaigrette for our Asian manini fish salad, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna segment an orange. It's cut. We're gonna chop up a little bit of cilantro, we're gonna chop up our lettuce, and we're gonna get that into our mixing bowl, and that's gonna be the salad. Then I'm gonna show you guys how to make this chamui vinaigrette. We've got our salad all prepped. Now we're gonna get ready for the main ingredient, or besides the manini, our chamui vinaigrette. To make our chamui vinaigrette, we're gonna take about three tablespoons of this chamui. We're gonna take a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, 
a little bit of spice, and just a little tiny pinch of garlic. And that's it. So we got our chamoy. We have our spice. The chamoy is already naturally sweet and sour. So it hits those points. All we need to do is add in a little bit of spice and a little bit of salt. And then you're gonna add in a generous amount of black pepper. For the garlic, you only need a tiny pinch of minced garlic. Very, very little bit. It's already raw. So you just need, I don't even know what this is, like a fourth of a teaspoon, just something really, really, really tiny. Just a pinch of minced garlic, just like that. We've got our chamui, our garlic, our salt, pepper, and our spice mix. Now we're gonna drizzle in a little bit of olive oil. So when you're making a vinaigrette, guys, you slowly drizzle in the olive oil and you mix your product. So this chamoy is really interesting. It was actually loose, but mixing it with the fat, the oil, it kind of like emulsified and it's got a little bit thicker, almost like a Thousand Island dressing. I just tasted it and it has like kind of like a ume flavor. So there's ume dressings out there and that black pepper and garlic comes through really, really nicely. It does need a little bit more of a kick so I got a little bit of vinegar. We're gonna do about one tablespoon of vinegar into this mix. Just so it has that little bite like a vinaigrette should. And then we're gonna mix this all up. Give it a taste. Whew. Guys, you guys gotta eat this. You guys have to do this recipe. The dressing alone, I can think of 10 things that we could do with this vinaigrette right here. Okay, let's get to plating. Nice, beautiful bean sprouts, some lettuce, Chinese parsley, so simple. Okay. We got all of our boneless, crispy manini pieces here. Oh my gosh. Orange segments. Oh boy. Chamui in a squirt bottle here. Gonna dress this guy up. We're gonna finish with a little bit of Chinese parsley cilantro garnish. A little bit of sesame seed. And a little bit of this la choy chow mein noodle you can buy it in the uh asian aisle just to add a little bit more crunch with our salad and our fried crispy manini and then we finish with the double fry super crispy eat the bone manini double fry manini It's a crunchy head, I see. Can I start? Can I eat it? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So, I don't know how to start this, but let's just dig, dig in, like, as in eating the head first. Wow. Did you hear that? Crunchy. Mmm. What kind of sauce is this? So, there's a local vendor. Mm hmm They take plums of some sort, mm -hmm. they mix it with a whole bunch of things mm -hmm. and it's their play on lihimoy, but fresh. Oh. Fresh lihimoy, not dried, yeah. Wow. So it's called chamui. Chamui. And mm. so we made a vinaigrette. Mm, I can taste that. We got Chinese parsley, some sesame seed, and then we got the orange segments. Wow. How does that chamui wow. pair like... with the fish and the crunchiness? Well, it brings out the taste of the fish when you can hardly even taste it at first because it's so crunchy. Mm, but nice. with this with the flavor of the what is it? Um chamui. Chamui? No, what's my that? I can't pinpoint it. Well there's I vinegar, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of black pepper and salt, and then the rest is all chamui sauce. Yes, that's what it is then. It has like a sweet but kind of like a lihimui and yes, ume flavor. Uh -huh, ume. Yeah. It has a little saltiness, but it's really good. It's mm. 
Yes. Wow, this is really good. You wouldn't think that it'd be good on salads, but let me try this part. Sorry, sorry. Chamoy. This is a good salad dressing. All right. The mm, factor that you can't really pinpoint it, but it's there. Guys, Hawaii's hey, only got. Son, son. Sorry, excuse me. But I think that you should make a lot more dishes with like fruits. Because. <laughs> Ma, Ma, I make all my fish dishes with fruit. If you watch my videos, everything is fruit. I, I do watch your videos. But you always talk about the fish, so I never see the fruit. But this is really good. Chow Wang, Chow. Asian chamui. 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 And. And fruits, it's actually refreshing. Okay, I'm gonna do my outro now, Ma. Is that cool? All right. mm -hmm. Thank you. Guys, guys, we did it again. Asian manini salad with the chamui vinaigrette. Shout out to chamui. Shout out to your manini. The most underrated fish in the sea. One of my favorite fish to eat. Thank you, manini. We'll see you guys next weekend. Aloha.